Hi guys, it's True here. Welcome to another episode of True Marvelous vs. The World. This is Atari. Uh, this is not Atari, it's fucking Phoenix. Oh, it's Phoenix on the Atari. Not Atari on Phoenix, because that would just be stupid, wouldn't it? Um, but yeah, it's Phoenix on the Atari 2600. Uh, Scott B is up there. This has been busting my chops all week. This is a very hard score to get. And I mean, it is very, very hard score to get. Um, all records are recorded on Intergos's Retro Records website, which you can find to the left of me. Please go check out the site. It's very good, and hopefully we'll see you participating in some record attempts. So, here we go on Phoenix. There might not be a lot of talking on this game, because this game requires a lot of concentration, because it is balls hard to get a decent score on. It rains bullets on you for fun. So let me fire up the old emulator and off we go. <laughs> Most of you may be familiar with Phoenix but those of you who don't it's a five screen game. The first two screens are like this, basic space evader kind of thing. Um, the third and fourth screen you have giant birds to shoot and only can shoot them in the centre mass of them. Hit them left or right, you just blow a wing off and they grow it back. The fifth screen is the mothership which you'll see how it's taken down when I get to it. So there may not be a lot of commentary on here other than me swearing and cursing at the game. Because it does require a bit of concentration because you've got to be pretty accurate with your shots on this. It's not about spamming your fire button, it's all about the accuracy. You do also have a shield as well, which is good and bad at the same time because it's a bit inconsistent and you only can use it every now and then. And if it decides to run out at the wrong time, yeah, screw basically. an extra life at 5,000. Don't know when the next extra life is because um, it must be something ridiculous. So yeah, you got to blow the red pull away first. And then shoot this blue revolving shield. You're safe here on the first couple of cycles. You can't do this every time, believe me. If you could, it'd be a lot easier, but you can't. Right, now we've got it. I dash to the middle, use my shield and blow the crap out of the core. And that's one cycle done, now they get harder. More aggressive, more bullets. More fun! Save me. Damn, 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 damn. This red wave of birds that I lose about ninety percent of my lives on. I always like to do like two, ch two channels on this, so then when you make your mad dash to the middle, you've got a bit more margin for error. <coughs> Again, second cycle, so I can quite happily just sit here and just wail away on it, basically. Right. <coughs> there we go, third cycle. I really 
honestly thought I was dead then. Why did I move? Why did I move? Red wave again, I've lost a life. All three lives lost so far have been on that wave. Right, now I can't sit. Now I can't sit on the edge. But I see now rains bullets pretty much everywhere. That's bad, that's bad, that's bad. Oh, I got it. Some, by some miracle, I got that then. I completely mistimed that. I thought I was completely dead, mate. Yeah, I'll just check this about then. It's a horrible hidden border that you can't progress past. That's because I'm doing that well. <laughs> and now I've said that, I've obviously put the kids to death on it all. I can't even see what score I'm on, but I know I must be pretty close. Because I'm not even glancing up at that score. Too busy focusing on the old aliens.
I'll just look at the scar now and that little brief flash there and I know I've beaten it. I am chuffed about that, but it's about what I can set now. Apologies for the lack of commentary, but if you have a go at this game yourself, you'll understand what I mean. It requires quite a bit of concentration. Fuck. Surface to say, guys, that is the best I've done by about 20,000 points because my best off camera score was 35,000. <sighs> Bloody hell! Always tends to happen that I've noticed that you, you, you get you get close, you get close, you get close, and then you'll just smash it it's like once you get past that point that like barrier you just do an awful lot better for some reason um, right and no extra life at 50,000 why what's the point of giving you a life at 5,000 points and then you get no more extra lives that's just uh, just madness that um, <coughs> Switch over on me. That's great. <coughs> There's the Scott. There's the emulator. So, yeah, fifty five thousand six hundred and seventy. Gotta say, guys, out of all the ones I've done so far of this series, that's the one I'm most proud of. Guys, that one is because that was a genuine um, high score to beat. That was that was that's believe me, getting to thirty, getting to thirty thousand, getting to thirty eight thousand, what the old score was. That's that's something in itself. <clears throat> So yeah, I, f I think I'm going to do this as a bonus one because I want to get this uploaded straight away. Um, as a bonus video in the series. Look how red my arm is from, but of rest resting on the arm of my chair. Ah <laughs> oh dear, that, that is the one I'm most, the most happy with that of all the ones I've done so far. Yeah. 
tough game that. I suggest you all have a go because it's a bloody cracking game, but um, very, very difficult and one that you've got to have a lot of focus on. So, yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed that video as much as I enjoyed playing that. That's the, like I say, I enjoyed getting to that, getting that score. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you're tuning in next time.